What's up everybody, we're back. Season one, episode three, and we're in the Starland District of Savannah, a true revitalization part of Savannah, an area where everything has grown. It's truly one of the biggest epicenters that we've got to offer in Savannah. And now that you've watched me, you keep following, you keep liking, you know that through these episodes, I always like to try to find a spot to have a little cocktail. And so we're gonna start this episode at one of my favorite spots in the Starland District for those happy hours on Mondays. They've got $5 margaritas, uh, $3 beer specials. And then I'll tell you, the food, right? So if you've ever had chum, have you ever had chum? If you've not had chum, you gotta come have a chum taco. I promise you it will not disappoint. So check out Bull Street Taco. Now follow me down. So when it comes to office space, when it comes to your house, we all have those areas, those little nooks and those corner parts of town or of your property where you need to fill it with plants or whatever the case is. Two doors down, you have Stomp. Now come down. It's awesome. It's a place where they'll help you plant trees, build trees, grow, grow plants, whatever the case may be, but it's gonna fill in all those spots of your house. So check out Stomp, you'll love it. All right guys, so we just walked about three blocks south. Now we're right in front of Foxy Loxy. Really cool coffee shop. But the neat thing, a local little trick of the trade is that it's not just a coffee shop. If you're looking for a little afternoon, midday snack, it's got some of the best Tex-Mex food. So don't overlook it. Come get a coffee, but if you want a little snack, don't forget to check it out. And another one is sometimes this place does get packed. So if you do come and you really wanna get that coffee, be prepared to wait a little bit, but it's worth it, trust me. So Foxy Loxy, check it out, let's keep moving. So you just left Foxy Loxy, or even maybe you were waiting in that line. Remember I told you it might've been a little bit of a wait for that that good cup of joe. But as you know, we're in real estate. I can't be walking up and down Bull Street without showing you some architecture. And so a property that was built just before 1900, it is an iconic piece of Bull Street, the gingerbread house. It's an event center now, but just come take a look at it. It is the most stunning piece of property. And it, like I said, an iconic piece of Savannah. So check it out. All right, so now we're almost uh, about two blocks continuing farther south. We're on the corner of 37th and Bull. Right behind me is a little spot that used to be a little food truck on wheels. Now it's got its own bodega. So I'm originally from the North. I love bagel sandwiches. And I'm telling you right now, not only in the Starland district, but I think in Savannah, it's got some of the best bagel sandwiches. And if you want it, little tick, try the 912. Love it, you're not gonna regret it. All right guys, so we just left the bodega. We crossed over 37th. And now I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite sushi places. And it's a really cool piece of art, architecture. Um, the property actually was an old school bank, serviced the local community for over like 50 years, give or take. And now it's converted into, like I said, it's called the Vault. My favorite sushi in all of Savannah. And the neatest thing is if you really wanna get tied into the bank, make you feel like you're a part of history, you can actually eat your sushi inside the old bank vault. Now, if that kind of food's not your thing, which, hey, it's mine, I hope you love it. If not, stay with me. We're gonna walk down about another block get you a little wood fire pizza. So keep coming. So we're continuing down on Bull. So remember we started about on 32nd block. So now we're about 38th, in between 38th and 39th on Bull Street. And we are now at Squirrel's Pizza. Great local food, wood fire pizza. It's got a full bar menu. So those that like the beer with the pizza, it's a great spot. Now, after that pizza, we're gonna go down another block, cross over, get a little more cocktails in us. I got my pizza in from Squirrel, the wood fire pizza. I now crossed over 39th Street, continuing southbound on Bull Street. And it's just, it's simple. It's the dive bar of the Starland District. So if you want that dive bar, that chilled, easy environment, come to the wormhole, you won't be disappointed. Great anytime bar, great late night bar. It's just a dive bar. So you know Savannah, big drinking town, tons of fun, but recently it's become a lot more known for a lot of its local breweries. So right now, inside Starland District, we're at Two Tides Brewery. The coolest thing about that is they just opened up their small bar. Even their logo's small. So it's their new tap room. But the cool thing is this little small bar is only beginning. If you come down around the corner, look for the big sign. It's the main one, it's the big brewery. So keep coming, come around the corner, and you'll go to the main spot, their main brewery. So remember around the corner, small bar, small sign. Big bar, big sign. So keep coming around. All you're gonna do is literally walk around the corner and you're gonna go up the stairs into the brewery. All right, the coolest thing about Two Tides that I didn't mention outside is that it's actually an old Savannah house. So when you come upstairs, 
it's made up. They really did limited changes. So you come in, the taps that you'll see in the video, that's in the living room. The arcade room, bedroom one. But you can take your drinks, go walk outside, and it is so cool. You can take the windows, because the old Savannah Ways, instead of having patio doors, you've got the bowl up windows, but you can reserve the bedroom too, the master bedroom. So unique, so cool to Savannah. So come grab a couple of drinks, you'll love it. Now we're in the gem, my favorite spot of the Starland District, old container ships. We are now in Starland Yard, one of the coolest creations that we've had in this part of Savannah. The neatest thing is really the convenience. You walk in, you get a wristband, and like everything's for free. You can get as many drinks, you get pizza, you get food from food trucks, and everything's for free, I think, I don't know. But you come in, say hello to Michaela, you give your credit card out. Oh, that's, well, that's probably why. Give you a wristband, and then you can walk around. Thanks, Michaela, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's keep going through. I'm gonna show you the bar, show you the food tricks. It's all outside, it's open air. It's also a safe environment. I wanna tell you about the kids. We bring our three kids all the time. It's fully enclosed, so they run around, they play with the games. Just a super fun outside, enjoying the Savannah weather. But come on, let me take a tour of everything because you don't wanna miss anything in here. All right, so we're inside. We're gonna showcase a little bit more about the Starland District. And you know, before we were showing that gingerbread house, I was showing a little bit of the Savannah culture, the architecture. This is just completely different. It's the container ships. Check out how they raised one up and they've actually got the bench seating. Something that I just, I think is just so unique, so cool to this area. But another thing, food trucks, a neat thing, they rotate them in and out so you get a different flair, a different style and, and culture within Savannah because they bring it to you. Now past there, if you don't love the food trucks, Vittoria, I ain't gonna lie, that is my favorite pizza in Savannah. Sorry to say, I know there's a lot of other go-tos, but personally, I love the wood fire. That's my favorite go-to. And if you really want a little flair, a little spice, you gotta get the calzona. That is my favorite thing in the world. Try the calzone, you won't be disappointed. And then you can wash it down with the beer and just continue to walk around and once again, enjoy everything Savannah's got to offer. All right, guys, it's a wrap. Episode three is finished. I've showed you everything that Starland District has to offer. I've shown you my favorite coffee shops, my food places, the sushi, the pizza, and then the gem, the Starland Yard District, uh, everything that is inside, outside, around. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep commenting, keep liking, uh, keep subscribing to all these videos that we do because I appreciate it. It helps us generate all this content and don't forget if you're coming to town or if you live here, you want to follow all these, don't forget we're going to drop a pin of all the locations we took you on a tour today. And then if not, we're going to see you on episode four and beyond. So enjoy it. See you guys.